Hi everybody, this is Tiffany and I'm having a great day. So this prophetic message is coming from numbers 13, 13 or numbers 13. So if you've been seeing 13 by itself or 13, 13 together, then this message is for you. Or if you have been led to click on this message, then you can take it to the Lord in prayer for more clarity and guidance. So this message is starting off with Revelations 13, 13 to 15. And he doeth great wonders so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on earth in the sight of men and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beasts, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the womb by the sword and did live. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. So what came to me from reading that was deception and endure. So now I'm going to read Job 12, 16 to 25. With him are strength and sound wisdom. The deceived and the deceiver are his. He leads counselors away strip and judges he makes fools. He loosens the bonds of kings and binds a waist cloth on their hips. He leads priests away strip and overthrows the mighty. He deprives of speech those who are trusted and takes away the discernment of the elders. He pours contempt on princes and loosens the belt of the strong. He uncovers the deeps of the darkness and brings deep darkness to light. He makes nations great and he destroys them. He enlarges nations and leads them away. He takes away understanding from the chiefs of the people of the earth. He makes them wander in the tactless waste. They grope in the dark without light and he makes them stagger like a drunken man. The Lord is in control of both sides. So both sides, good and bad. The Lord is in control of both sides. Endure, because those two came to me. That's where I got Matthew 24, 13. But he that shall endure until the end, the same shall be saved. To die is to live came to me after reading that. So now I'm going to read Matthew 10, 28. It says here, And fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. So now I'm going to read Strong's Concordance 13. The definition is destruction. From perishing to destruction, that's also part of the definition of 13. Now I'm going to read the reference number 13. The number of rebellion or spiritual depravity, backsliding, corruption, abandonment, deflection, revolution, to break or destroy superstition. Rebellion stood out. So now I'm going to read Isaiah chapter 30 verse 9. So it says here that this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord. So this is the most high here. I wrote that is in all caps here. So the, uh, the father, so this is a message um, that the father is saying here regarding this. Um, disobedience came to me. So now I'm going to read both definitions of disobedience. What is the true meaning of disobedience? Disobedience is deliberately not doing what someone in authority tells you to do or what a rule or law says that you should do. A single act of rebellion or disobedience was often enough to seal a woman or man's fate. And now here, what is disobedient to God? Disobedient is defined as a failure or refusal to obey rules or someone in authority. Ultimately, it is going against what God has commanded in his word and disobeying how he wants us to live. Disobedient is rebellion against God or simply not trusting that he knows best. So now I'm going to read the overall message here. The overall message our scripture. So Colossians 3, 6, it says here, for which things sake the wrath of God cometh on the children of disobedience. And now I'm going to read 1 John 5, 11. And this is the record that God has given to us eternal life. And this life is in his son. So when I read that, this is a matter of life and death. And I said, choose life. And then that reminded me of what Moses said. And now I'm going to read Deuteronomy 30, 19. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you that I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore, choose life that both thou and thy seed shall live. So this is the message here. The message is the Lord's wrath is coming on the children of disobedience. The father has given us life through the Lord. 
This is a matter of life and death because his wrath is coming. Choose life so you and your family shall live. So that's the overall message, guys. If you want more clarity and guidance, take this to the Lord in prayer. I love you guys. Have a wonderful and blessed day, and I'll see you soon. Lord willing, and be blessed. Bye.